Hey people, Annie here. So when I told you guys that this podcast issue is really prolonging and it seems it's not ending anytime soon, I may be right after all. So in my last video, I talked about Yvon Jagede's response to Nedu after Nedu shaded her because of the apology she made to me and to the public. So after the response, a lot of people were still divided on the issue. So many people supported Yvon Jagede. So many people also supported Nedu because according to them, Nedu did not do anything. It was Yvon Jagede that used her two legs and went for the podcast cast and spewed whatever she spewed there that it was not a dude's fault in any way that even is only trying to blame nedu for the nonsense she spewed okay on the other hand some people were of the opinion that edu did not have any right to shade her because this was his podcast he was supposed to defend even jagede at least if not for anything that people were bashing her because of the things she said in his podcast so coming out to shade her was totally wrong and besides when has it become a crime for someone to admit to a wrong doing and then decides to apologize i think that's where edu is missing out on this whole stuff someone came to your podcast and she said things that hurt people okay because this is your podcast is being aired what's the essence for people to listen to it now people listen to these things she said and they weren't okay with it there were a whole lot of dragging people were dragging this lady front right and center and instead of you to come out to defend her all you could do was to come out and tell her if you say something stand by it many words so when someone does something wrong there is no room for apologies there is no room for change nothing nothing the person should just stand on that mistake Gidiba, and admit it with his or her full chest i think this is when they do is missing out on this whole thing that someone has an opinion about something does not mean that that opinion is right you may have a wrong opinion about something trust me if you don't voice it out you may never know that it is wrong now to even jagada during this whole yole doche ame Doche saga. She never saw any reason people should be bashing your Ledoche. To her, your Ledoche did not do anything. He was just practicing polygamy. Why are people bashing him? You will bash your Ledoche and then you will leave near Dwokyo. But she has forgotten that the circumstances behind your Ledoche's own is quite different from that of near Dwoko. Now, if she hadn't come to this podcast to come and voice this in out, trust me, she will never know that this opinion she has has been wrong all this while. Now, she came to this podcast aired her mind and for those of you saying eh no that she rehearsed it she rehearsed it that she wanted to promote her movie well this may be her opinion okay now she went to this podcast she said what she said now people began to drag her if she didn't sit down to rethink, trust me, she was not going to come out to apologize to anybody. Trust me, I'm sure she must have sat down to think about this whole thing, okay? To think about the woman she was causing pain and to think about other women who may have been going through the same thing and to think about that she herself, that it was because of her man's way of life that made her to leave her own marriage it was because of maybe all these things that made her to say okay i'm coming out to come and apologize to all those who felt offended by the things i said and then she decided to apologize and edu saw it as a crime meanwhile after edu shaded her she gave her response and then edu came back with his own reply let's take a look at it so he wrote it has come to our attention that a recent guest on the honest bunch podcast Yvonne jagede has resorted to publishing insult and defamatory material on social media following what following what appears to be public outcry against personal thoughts and positions shared by said guests on the show we would like to make it clear that even jagede was not pressured to make any statements on the podcast and that neither nedu nor the producers of the honest bunch nor glitch africa studio takes any responsibility for personal thoughts and positions shared by shared by Ivan Jegede. We would also like to state clearly that Ivan Jegede appeared on the Honest Bunch as part of her publicity drive for her upcoming movie. While this was a paid appearance, it does not in any way afford Ivan Jegede the right to defame or slander Nedu or the producers of the Honest Bunch. We, we strongly advise Ivan Jegede in good faith to desist from further aggravation personal attacks, name calling, and vituperation. Now, wow, guys, what do you think about this? To me, I think Nedu did not handle this thing well. Instead of throwing that shade to Yvonne, if he wasn't ready to come and defend Yvonne, he could have just simply kept quiet. I guess he was not the only one on that podcast. Every other person kept quiet, but he decided to come out and shade Yvonne. For what exactly? For apologizing to the public for the things she said she felt was wrong and Edu saw it as a problem. If you offend somebody, don't apologize. So.
Stand on that thing. It is your right to offend somebody because your offense to somebody is what you think about that thing. You don't have any right to tell somebody sorry because you offended that person. A do not work for you. So let's take a look at people's reaction concerning this issue after Nedu had come out to come and respond. Meanwhile, let's start with Shan George, a Nollywood actress. You see this Nedu and Yvonne JKD matter. The truth is that you have a right to speak out, stand to be corrected, and apologize when you offend. And that is what Yvonne has done. And there is no need to be escalating the issue. What Nedu has done is do his job. Nedu's own is to ask you questions, is to make you to speak out. So at the end of the day, he hasn't done anything wrong. It is your duty to get to that place and mind how you yarn. But if you now go and over yarn, if your mouth, if your mouth drive rough, like all of us mouth they drive off sometimes you apologize and that's simple so i don't know why anybody is escalating this issue or yvonne has said what she said and she has apologized as far as i am concerned her apology is enough Guys, what do you think about what she said? I think I agree with her to an extent. The truth is that when you go to a podcast or any interview or whatever it is, you don't have to lose guard. Be very careful about the things you say. And nobody is going to point a gun at you for not answering any question. If there is any sensitive question thrown at you and you know that people may drag you for it or maybe people may misunderstand, you don't have to answer it. You don't have to voice it out. Just keep it to yourself. Keep those opinions to yourself. Even that was surprised that even went ahead to speak about Yole Duchess issue. Even when she said and she knows that people are going to drag her. If you know you cannot stand the heat, if you know you cannot stand it, why go ahead and do it? And another thing is this. I think Yvonne didn't know that things will escalate this way. I'm sure she didn't know, as in, in her widest imagination, she never knew that things would get to this extent. And another thing is this, people are not really dragging Nedu because of the kind of sensitive questions he usually asks in his podcast. If they ask you sensitive questions, nobody hold gun to your head now. Just dodge it and go. People are actually dragging Nedu for the role he played, for coming out to come and shade Yvonne, for apologizing. I think that is why people are bashing him. People are not even bashing him because of the podcast. People are bashing him for the way he treated Yvonne. People we are bashing this lady because of the things she said in your podcast. Instead of you to find a way to, you know, to defend her or to even keep quiet safe, you came out to come and shade her for apologizing to the public because of the sensitive statements she made about a woman who lost her husband to another woman. Anyway, so after I do release that statement, let's take a look at the comment section to see people's reaction to it. So the first person said, Wait, I'm confused. She came, paid or not. She made some remarks that did not sit well with some people. She owned it and apologized. You mocked her for apologizing. She came back out to set records straight. You wrote disclaimer. Bro, don't you think this is bullying? Anybody can say anything and regret such statements. So why is her... So why is her apologizing an issue to you? Like, seriously, why is the apology an issue to Nedu? So the next person said, so it was even a paid invite. The next person said, Nedu, she was your guest. You should not have mocked her while she was being dragged. So this person said, Nedu, you are obviously a pain gaslighter. What was the essence of the status you put up? Now you are issuing a lame disclaimer. You need to grow up, Mr. Man. You are just a broken man who is coming from a place of pain. I mean, even the way he asked Yvonne on the podcast, what did you do that made you leave the marriage? What happened to asking the question in this manner? What happened that made you leave the marriage? He is such a broken man who keeps demeaning women, always very quick to attack women. 
The next person said, she even paid for the podcast, Chine Keme. That means she rehearsed and plans to discuss the Yo Me Judy situation to trend her Yeye movie. This may not be true, please. Then the last comment we'll be taking for today is, Judy was seen tearing her clothes and pouring dust on her body after seeing Queen May getting all the love, attention and spotlight. Anyway, Sha, guys, this is where we are going to stop. What are your thoughts on all of this? I just pray and hope that this thing doesn't escalate the more because the way these things are going, hmm, me, I don't know. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments in the comment section. And please, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. At least this will encourage me. It takes a whole lot to put out these videos for you guys. And also, this is a learning process for me because there are a whole lot I'm battling with. Not in terms of finance, but there is a whole lot I'm using this YouTube to learn in terms of my speech and everything. Please encourage me by subscribing to my channel and then put on your post notifications so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching.